Hey, welcome to the Sander Fack. I have been asked, perhaps more times than anything else, how one becomes a beta reader. Actually, the most common question is probably when's the next book coming out? But after that, how do I become a beta reader? Um, so let me first define for you what beta readers, alpha readers, and gamma readers are by my definition. These aren't standardized throughout the industry. It's just how I define them. An alpha reader is an industry professional for me. This is somebody who I trust to analyze the book in a raw state and give me suggestions on what to do better. This generally includes my agent, my editor, my family, and my team at the company. Some of my, uh, sometimes my writing groups in this, they kind of span between alpha and beta. Beta reader then is a test audience for me. Uh, this is someone who I don't want to explain what's wrong with the book. I want them to explain their feelings about the book, which is a very different thing. Beta reader reads the book, and if they're bored, they tell me they're bored. They don't say, I think you should add a scene here to improve pacing. What I want from them is just, I'm bored here, um, I'm excited here, I'm liking this character, I'm not into this viewpoint as much, this is what I think's gonna happen, that sort of thing. We run our, our beta reads as these massive uh, things. Usually there's 50 people in it and they're all reading the book at once and responding in a Google spreadsheet to one another's thoughts about the book. Basically, I just wanna get a test audience. Um, I often use the metaphor that in Hollywood, I heard that they would sometimes invite a group of people in and show them a couple of promising sitcoms they're thinking of making and in between them, a bunch of advertisements. And the people take notes on the sitcoms but then afterward, they get asked about the ads. It turns out the sitcoms are fake. Those aren't actually being developed in Hollywood. It's for the ad companies who really want to know about the ads, and they don't want people thinking about analyzing the ads while watching them. They just want to see which ones they remember and which ones were the most fun and that sort of thing and which brands they can answer questions about. That is way more important to them. It's the same thing for me with beta readers. I don't want them analyzing the book. I just want them explaining their feelings as a reader while they're going through it. Gamma Reader, on the other hand, is a proofreader. Um, I have very little to do with them. Peter, who's my editorial director, he spends most of the time working with the beta readers and he picks them. In fact, he generally picks um, the uh, Gamma Readers and the beta readers. I, I meant to say Gamma before, but he does pick the beta readers too. So how do you become a beta reader? The short answer is you probably don't. Um, most of the beta readers that I use are friends of mine and have been friends of mine for a long time, or they are members um, of the fandom who have proven over time especially good at relating their feelings, and their feelings tend to be representative of the fan base in some way. Um, we do generally add a few new people every beta read, but what we're usually looking for are um, friends of friends who can be vouched for uh, to not share the book. You know, we don't want these things leaking onto the internet and these sorts of things because they're in their rough state. I just would rather that people get the books when they're good rather than when they're in process. Um, we don't add a lot of beta readers. There's only a couple each time. If we do add beta readers, they are usually subject experts. Uh, for instance, there were beta readers I used in Rhythm of War who uh, were very familiar with um, and had a disassociative identity disorder because I was working with that in the book. Uh, these sorts of people we will solicit sometimes on my Facebook and my Twitter uh, looking for, you know, I needed fighter pilots for Skyward. Uh, to give me some tips and those sorts of things. So if you do have specialized knowledge, you can watch there. You're also welcome to email in and say, hey, I've got this really interesting different type of specialized knowledge. Um, you know, we do catch those, but we don't often go to them because it turns out that the things I need are not generally things we've anticipated that I'm going to need. Um, so in general, it's very difficult to become a beta reader. I'm sorry. Um, I know you would like to do it, but let me warn you, the books are kind of bad uh, during these stages. And um, I think the majority of you would actually much prefer to get them in their finished state rather than reading them when they have some major problems in them. Um, but I do appreciate everybody who does beta read for me, all of you who are willing to. Uh, maybe someday we'll find a chance for you to do that. But for right now, um, the best thing you can do if you want to be a beta reader is just be um, a, a participant in the community um, and things like that. Again, very slim chance, but I guess it is possible. Um, either way, thanks for reading, um, and I hope you enjoy Rhythm of War, which is out right now.